and welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Pages with Paige, and today we're going to be doing my May TBR. Throughout the month of May, there are three readathons that I'm hoping to participate in. The first one is being Finishathon, created by Darshell from Books and Planners. The goal of Finishathon is to continue on or finish off as many series as possible within the month. So I've tried to make this a priority when picking my reads for this month. The other readathon is Medievalathon, created by Holly Hearts Books. And these have particular prompts to be able to get clothes, armor, and a companion. And so I've catered my Finishathon and my Medievalathon to squish them together. The last readathon is the Believeathon, hosted by Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin, and it is running from the 11th of May to the 24th of May. And I have selected a book for every single prompt because I'm insane. <laughs> I've mostly stuck with series, but there are a few standalones on this list just because I was excited to get to them. I've chosen my main five, which will be my path to the bookkeeper stronghold which i'll explain in a minute but i will also talk through all the books that i am intending on getting to so firstly my tbr for outside of the believeathon i am going to talk through the medievalathon prompts and the books that i've chosen to go with them the first prompt is to gain some clothes and i have picked this and that is to read a book that has yellowed with time so as a comparison this is my yellow book this is my newer book and the book that I've chosen to read is The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien and so this will be finishing off the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I've never read it before and really enjoying it and after seeing um, Brit from basically Brit finish this in one of her readathons I was very excited to continue on with it and make it a high priority. Next on Medievalathon I need to equip myself with some armor so I've decided to get a sword and a shield. To be able to gain a sword, I need to read a book that has a sharp thing on the cover. And I've gone with The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. As we can see, I believe it's Vin, has a sharp pointy thing right there. Uh, this is also for the Cosmere along. I will put all the links for that in the description box below, as well as for Believathon and Medievalathon. I don't think Dashell has any information on her YouTube channel, but I'll still leave her link below for Finishathon. So this will be the second book in the Mistborn series and I'm really excited to pick it back up. I read The Final Empire in 2018 and have been neglecting it since. So I'm excited for the read along to push me <laughs> to finish it up. And yeah, very excited. I also want to gain a shield and to do that, I need to read something that I have high expectations for. And so I've decided to go with Record of a Spaceborn Few by Becky Chambers. This is the third in the Wayfarer series and I'm really excited to dive back in. I've loved all the characters and I do have very high expectations for this. Even if they're not met, um, I adore the characters so much that I feel like I will be satisfied regardless. So yeah, fingers crossed that my high expectations are reached, but oh, I'm so excited. The next thing we can gain are companions and I've decided to get two because I'm lucky like that and that will be to gain a dog companion I need to buddy read a book so my friend Jacqueline and I are reading Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Ooh, beautiful cover. Uh, I will leave Jacqueline's bookstagram linked below she's just starting out and so I want to promote her in any way that I can and yeah so we read Strange the Dreamer last year and I read Strange the Dreamer in a five hour train trip back to my hometown. Uh, so I figured whilst I won't be doing that this, this time round, I will um, definitely pick up Muse of Nightmares and I'm really keen to finish off this duology. The final prompt for Medievalathon that I will be fulfilling is to gain a horse companion and that is to read a tall hardcover. And I've decided to read The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Turk, translated by Lilith Thwaites. I'm very intrigued to read this. I'm not sure that in excited is the right word to go with but I definitely want to pick it up it's been on my TBR for ages and I'm so keen to finally get to it uh, this is a standalone so it won't be going towards finishathon but I'm still happy to read it it is also Darshell's Facebook group uh, she has a books and planner Facebook group and it's the buddy read for this month I also have two additional reads that are happening for my in real life book club um, we mostly read sci-fi fantasy but have recently expanded to 
include another genre each month. Um, so we will read a sci-fi this month and a historical fiction. The sci-fi for this month is The Final Six. I haven't done any research into it. I have no idea what it's about. I'll just buy it on Kindle and read it sometime throughout the month. But the historical fiction I actually got to select and I chose to go with The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. And this is a retelling of the Trojan War from the female's perspectives. And I'm not sure who appears in this, um, but I do love anything relating to mythology and ancient worlds and hearing it from the female's perspectives just gives me hope that it's going to be an intriguing read. Finally, there are two other books that I would like to read outside of Believeathon. I know, I'm, what am I doing? I don't know. Uh, but the first one is A Dance of Dragons Part 1 by George R. R. Martin. This is to fulfill my big book challenge, which I have. I just use a wheel um, every month to pick a standalone, a series, a hauled book, a big book, and an open book, uh, and this will be my big book. Um, I'm very nervous, <laughs> but I want to get to it, and yeah, it will get me one step closer to finishing the Game of Thrones series that are currently published. I also would like to read Other Light by Jason Segel and Kirsten Miller. This is the final book in the Otherworld series. Um, I'm very excited to get to it, and I have an arc of it on my Kindle even though it's been out for ages and yeah I just need to finish it off because I enjoy it when I'm reading it it's just one of those series that I forget about when I'm not reading it. I also have a stack of the next books in series or the final ones um, so I'm gonna hold those up and if you would just like to let me know in the comments below which one I should prioritize on top of my overwhelming stack uh, I will take that in consideration when picking my next read. So this is the first uh, half of the stack I've got Gemini, A Court of Mist and Fury, Ink Spell, Charm Caster, Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian, A Gathering of Shadows, and Vengeful. Other half, I have Always and Forever Lara Jean, Blaze of Glory, Everlasting Rose, Silver and Stone, Iron Lights, Batol, and DB8. So those are all the series that I am interested in, and now I will get into the Believeathon part of this TBR. So Gavin has created a wonderful map. Uh, which you can follow to get to the end goal of the Bookkeeper Stronghold. I will do the first lap through um, and then come back and finish off any others throughout the month. So I've picked a book for every prompt, but my main five will be the ones that I am prioritizing, as well as an additional one that is a middle grade monthly pick for me. So my path is this cute little stack. The first prompt is Poacher's Pocket Inn, and that is to read the first in the series. So I've decided to go with How to Train Your Dragon by Chrissy DeCowell. And this um, is also Gammon's namesake, so he will be reading it this month as well. And I'm excited to see what it's all about. I know that it follows Hiccup and Toothless. I've seen the movie years ago, so I don't really remember the story. And I'm excited to get it in novel form. I'm then going to travel to Baba Yaga's house and that is to read a book featuring family relations and so I've decided to go with The Land of Yesterday by K.A. Reynolds. Uh, Rachel from Rachel Morey was really pumping this up and I'm very curious to see. I messaged her asking if it contained <laughs> different elements so this could actually fulfill a prompt, uh, quite a few prompts for Believeathon um, but I've decided to put it with the family relations and it's following a girl who goes to the land of yesterday after her little brother dies and um, her mum considers to follow. Next up we'll be heading to the Mermaid Lagoon and I am going to read The House with Chicken Legs by Sophie Anderson. This is um, the book for the Baba Yaga house but I thought I would switch um, just to keep it interesting and this is a book that features a female bond. Apparently there is a really strong bond between the protagonist and her grandmother. I don't really know much about it, just Gavin loves it and he actually gifted this to me for my birthday and so I couldn't not pick it up now that I have this beautiful cover in my hands. The next location that we're journeying to is Black Ice Bridge. Read a book that features an expedition or an adventure and I'll be going with The Girl Who Speaks Bear by Sophie Anderson. Got a lot of Sophie Anderson love that I've been needing to catch up on. I've messaged Gavin asking if this contained an adventure and he said it certainly does. So I'm very excited to put this in and see what it's all about. The next location that I will be traveling to is the Bookkeeper Stronghold and that's to read the next book in a series. So I will be reading Pages and Co. Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales, which is the second book in the Book Wanderers series by Anna James. I'm really excited to get to this. Gavin and I read the first one in February 
and so I definitely want to pick it up. I would wait for him, but I'm just too excited to read it. Sorry, Gab. So that is my main TBR for the Leavathon, and then I thought I'd just talk through the rest of the locations and the paths that I'm intending on taking, um, because each location you can go to particular locations after that. And I figured I would just not go back to the Purchase Pocket Inn, but the next level up, and not always go to the Bookkeeper Stronghold, uh, just continue back in the loop. So the next path I'm going to take is firstly Yellow Brick Road. Read a book you were meant to read years ago and I'm going to go with Mary Poppins Comes Back which is the second book in the Mary Poppins series. I read the first one ooh, ooh, in 2017 and I've been meaning to continue on with the whole series so with finish a thon happening I figured now is the perfect time to finish off the series. Next we'll be going to The Hundred Acre Wood which is to read a book with a yellow cover and to cover that prompt I'm going to go with Mary Poppins opens the door. <laughs> Mary Poppins author is P.L. Travers, which I failed to mention. So, yep, again, continuing on, this is a yellow cover. This is the third book in the series. I don't know if you have to read them in order, but the way that I've structured my TBR allowed me to be able to read them in order. And finally, the last book for that section of the map is To Orion Found, and that is to read a sci-fi. So I'm going to read Orion Lost by Alistair Chisholm. And this is the middle grade monthly book of May. Very excited to dive into this and see what it's all about. I know that Gavin has read it but Jade has not and that middle grade sci-fi is a rarity so if you have any suggestions of middle grade sci-fi please leave them down in the comments below um, just so we can expand our horizons and see what else is out there. So heading back to the level just above the Poacher's Pocket Inn, our final destination for that level is The Wonderfalls and that's to read a book featuring disability. So I've gone with Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan. This is following a 12 year old genius um, obsessed with nature and diagnosing medical conditions and finds comfort in counting by sevens. I'm not sure what disability rep is actually present in here but I did check on Goodreads and it does feature some so I will let you know when I've read it what it actually features. I am assuming that it's looking at OCD and idiosyncrasies. It could also be dealing with um, IQ levels I'm not sure, but I'm very excited to find out. And I've had this on my TV out for years, so I'm very excited to get to it. Next up, we will be heading to the Deep Woods, and that's to read a book that was published pre-2000. So as you might have guessed, it's Mary Poppins in the Park, which is book four in the series. Again, not much to say. I have no idea what each of these stories contain. I'm just very excited to finish off the series. Next up, we will be going to the Broly Rail, and that's to read a book featuring transportation. I'm not sure how transportation is present. Hopefully, the Broly Rail continues in this book, and that is Wonder Smith, uh, the second book in the Calling of Morgan Crow series, and this is written by Jessica Townsend. I'm very excited to continue reading this. I loved Nevermore, and I just want to dive in straight away, but with it being quite late in the list, Fingers crossed that I still get to it. Um, I do hope that they use the Broly Rail again in this uh, so that it will fit the prompt, but I'm sure I could make it work any which way. She got transported to, to Nevermore, so we'll see what happens. And once again, we've reached the Bookkeeper Stronghold to read the next book in the series, and I will be reading the fifth and final book, Mary Poppins in Cherry Tree Lane by P.L. Travers. And this will finish off the series that I have. I'm pretty sure this is just two uh, short stories set within the Mary Poppins universe um, and yeah so that will complete the series and is the next book in my list. And now because I'm an extra there, there is one other book that isn't a series that I've been keen to get to and that is Here in the Real World by Sarah Pennypacker and I have no idea what this is. I know she wrote Pax which looks absolutely beautiful and my co-worker um, at the bookstore I used to work at recommended this to me and I'm keen to pick it up. So this will just be a bonus middle grade that I throw in because I am I have no sanity. I'm not going to try and hold up all the books that I intend to read this month uh, collectively because that's just a bit insane, but this is my Believeathon TBR. Oh God. And yeah, I'm very excited to read all the books uh, this month that are on my TBR, mostly the Priority 8 and then my Believeathon TBR. If I get to any other series, I will be cheering, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> we'll just see how we go and how many um, audiobooks I can get read. 
I am currently unemployed, so I do have quite a bit of spare time and I'm not sure how that's going to change. I do know I have a master's assignment due in May, the day after Believeathon ends. This is going to be interesting. Anyway, uh, hopefully you'll tune into my blogs to see me eventually spiral with sanity. And this is my main TBR. Um, yeah. Hell. So those are my main priority for the month of May. Please pray for me and send me well wishes down in the comments below. Uh, if you would like to like this video and subscribe, if you would like to see more, I do weekly vlogs um, chronicling my lack of sanity, uh, lack of sleep, and stress towards assignments. So if that sounds interesting, and obviously uh, a little bit of reading gets sprinkled along the way. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing any of that, um, yeah, I'm really excited to have expanded the community by so much in such a short period of time. Thank you, April. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited to see where this adventure takes us. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!